let's get right into it. Do note that in this video, I will just show you how to put a text mask over a video. But in a future video, I will show you how to zoom into that text mask. It looks something like this to reveal the underlying video. If you're watching this video in the future and I've already uploaded it, you can click on the card over here to access that video. For this project, open iMovie and open Keynote. Make a new document. Make sure that the aspect ratio is wide. Select basic white and click create. If you want, you can go into full screen. Now you can delete these text boxes, but let this one stay. And now you can add in whatever text you want for the mask to display. Now click outside the text box, click on it again, and now resize it so that it covers the entire slide. Then click on text and make sure this is selected. Click over here to center align it and click over here to align it in the middle of the text box. Then increase the size to 800 points. If you want, you can increase the size of this text box so that the text becomes bigger. Then you can change the font to your liking. I'll be using impact. Now change the text color to green so that we can use green screen in iMovie to make it transparent. Then click outside the text box and change the background from white to whichever color you want. I'll be using black. Then click on the text box, click on animate, and now we're going to add in the build in, action, and build out animations. Click on add in effect, click whichever one you want. I'll be using swoosh. I'm changing the duration to four seconds, and you can change the direction to if you want, but I prefer from left. Then click on action, click on add in effect. I'll be using pop can change the duration to your liking. I'll be making this animation last for 4 seconds. Then click on build out and add an effect. I'll be using bouncy. You can change the duration and I'll be using 4 seconds over here as well. Then click on build order. Then click on any of these animations once. Press command A on your keyboard. And change the time from when they'll start from on click to after previous build. Now we can close this window. Now go to the menu bar, click on file, export to movie. You can change all of these settings to your liking. It's best to change the resolution and the frame rate to the resolution and frame rate of the underlying video so that everything is smooth. Then click on next. You can rename it to whatever you want. I'll just rename it to text mask. Then go to iMovie and insert the underlying video into the timeline. Then insert the text mask above this video. Now we can crop this text mask. Since for example, over here, no text is seen and it's just a black screen. So now click over here. And now drag the end of this clip till the playhead so that it gets cropped. Then you can also trim the beginning of the clip since for example over here the text is too small and you can't see through it. You can make sure that this time 11.3 seconds is the same as this time which is 9.7 seconds. So we can crop this till this changes from 11.3 seconds to 9.7 seconds. This looks good. Now when we place this on top, we can crop it so that it fits right above. Then double click over here. Change this from cutaway to green screen or blue screen. And change this from Ken Burns to fit. Now when we play the video, we can see that the text is transparent and we can see the video behind it. Let's export the video.
Let's have a look at the video. I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'll see you in the next video.